Welcome back everybody. I got something a little different. I have a teardrop. It's a custom made fiberglass hood. They call this a teardrop hood for a 1960 Ford Falcon. Um, the owner of this hood took the original steel hood to a guy and had him custom make this fiberglass hood. And it's kind of, it's a one only piece, one off. You can see underneath of it, they did a beautiful job. It's nice. Uh, we're gonna do it just like the Ford factory race cars were. All of this, the raw fiberglass looking stuff is gonna be flat black and all the trim is gonna be the body color and it, it's done beautifully. Um, we're gonna start off by uh, sanding this. Probably gonna use a little bit of 180 and sand this gel coat. Like, uh, I don't know if it's picking up or not, but there's, it's natural. There's just like some pinholes and stuff that were in the fiberglass itself, not in the uh, gel coat. But we're gonna sand all that down and uh, get a good coat of primer on it. Then we'll put a guide coat, like there. I don't know if you can see them. They, they look like, they look like blisters. They're not, it's just, they should be fine. We'll find out when we uh, get it blocked. And then we're gonna uh, get a good coat of epoxy primer on here. And uh, I'll try and keep you updated as we go. Okay. This, this teardrop hood for the Falcon fiberglass has been primed once. We blocked it out. And you can see, let me zoom, see if it'll zoom in. See those little white dots? They were pinholes. Uh, we filled them with a little light coat, lightweight body filler. Um, I think the rest of them is sanded out. We're getting ready to uh, put another coat of primer on here. This is a really nice hood, so. I'll show you after we get done priming. Okay. Just got done putting another coat of primer on here. Uh, when it flashes off, this is flashed off. That's not flashed off yet, you can see the shine. We're gonna put one more coat on there. Basically the only reason we're gonna put another coat on there is because I got enough left in the gun to do it. But uh, all those pinholes and everything that we fixed, they're all gone now, so. After we get them primed, we'll put a guy coat on it. I'll keep you posted. All right. I got the, uh, the center section of this hood that's painted a satin black um, as per factory. That's the way they were from the factory. This side's going the color of the car. Um, with any luck, I'll get it shot today because then I got to be able to flip the hood over and paint the top side. Well, here it is, the 1960. Ford Comet fiberglass teardrop hood is all painted. Um, I think I got a couple clips in here of underneath. Got it all. Got it all done. It's um. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but it's beautiful. Uh, these uh, I got these vents taped up. So there we go. Had to make it look a little bit better. So it turned out nice, guys. Um, this was a totally different base coat used on this hood. Um, and I sprayed this myself because uh, I got another hood out there I'll show you in just a second. The students are gonna do it, but um, this, this base coat never used anything like it before. Uh, and I didn't want the students to have to experiment with it. So I shot this to see how it acted. Um, it worked out fine. Um, the reason why we use something different to match this car, the car has original paint on it. I, it may not be original, but it is, it's, it's old anyway. It's, it's, it's a 1960 Comet and it was probably painted in the late sixties if it's not the original paint. And this came up with the closest match. That's why we went with it. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll show you the hood that the students are going to paint here in just a sec. Here is the hood. The students are going to paint this one. There was a few dings in it. That hood that I just showed in the paint booth 
was made off of this hood. Um, this is the factory steel hood that's on, on the car, and that's the, that's the color I was talking about. It's all sanded. Um, and the students are going to be painting that. I'll make a separate video on them painting that. I was going to film painting the one that's in the booth, but my GoPro died, so it is what it is. Thanks for watching.